This is the Simple Security Mini Video Surveillance Kit. Contained in the box, you have your cable for viewing your video footage on your television, your remote control activation key, your wall mounting bracket, your power supply for your camera, and the camera itself. The surveillance camera itself comes with illuminating LEDs on the front, pinhole lens, you have video in, video out for programming, your on off switch, your 5 volts in to power the camera, you then have your USB output for downloading videos, and your extra memory which is provided via this SD slot, and one of these small SD cards can be placed inside the slot like so, and clicked in. This increases the memory on the camera itself. To begin recording with the camera, first of all I need to plug it in, like so. Little green light will appear to say that it's receiving power. You then switch it on. Both LEDs will come on then after a couple of seconds to say that it is ready to record, like so. The camera itself comes with two ways of activating. You can go to the rear of the camera like so and press the record button on the back to begin recording and press record again to turn it off. It also comes with a remote control which allows you to activate and deactivate it remotely. To set up the remote control, simply go to the base of the camera here where it says code, get a small pin, press the code button. Go to your keypad, press any button, and you will hear a voice saying that it has been connected, and you are now ready to arm and disarm your camera remotely via the remote supplied. To get your mini recorder to record for the first time, you need to plug it in to a television set. This is done via the AV out jack here on the side of the camera. You simply plug in the phone or cable provided in the box like so. Switch on the recorder with the on off button. And you can then navigate the menus via the keypad here on the rear of the camera. Up and down, right and left. When you want to select something, simply press OK. It will allow you then to record sound, set the time, or decide whether or not you want the camera to override itself when you have recorded video footage on it. When you have finished setting up the camera, simply press the M button here beside the record and this will bring you back to your video camera itself and will allow you to set the camera up viewing whatever it is you need to view. When you have finished recording, there are two ways you can play back. You can either plug it into your laptop or, as before, plug it into your television. This is done again using the mini jack provided in the box. You simply plug it into your television. Press the OK button to bring up the menu. OK for playback. Select the video file that you want to play and select OK. And it's as simple as that. When you're finished, press OK to pause it. Press menu to go back. If you want to delete it, you press the A button and go down to delete. You're now ready to record again. The second way to get the footage off the camera is to plug it into your laptop. So turn on the camera and plug it in using the USB cable provided and into the USB port as shown before. It will then come up saying it's found a new piece of hardware asking you do you want to open and view the files. Simply click open and view, go to your video folder and in here you will see your two video recorded files. Simply double click on one and it will automatically begin to play back as you can see. You can then download these onto your PC or copy them onto a DVD for future reference. When you are finished, simply highlight the two of them and delete them. Your mini recorder is now wiped and ready to record again.